Photoshop just released a brand new update guys and I have to say the things you can do is just mind-blowing guys. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so I have a picture here guys and I'm going to be changing this word hello in neon lights to goodbye. Before I even continue guys, just keep in mind I will share all the prompts with you guys so you guys can have it and play with it for yourself. So the first thing what I want to do guys, just press M on your keyboard. Once you press M on your keyboard, this just gives you the marquee tool here that where you can highlight the area in which you want to do the changes to. And once you do that guys, you're gonna to go to generative fill, you click on that. Once you click on that guys, you're gonna have some options here. All right, so the option that you really want to make sure that you're on is the flux. If you go to Google Gemini 2.5, you're not gonna get a really good result. You're gonna get the best result when it comes on to text with flux, okay? So once you click on that, then now you're gonna put in this text here. You're gonna change hello text to goodbye, all right? So once you've done that, now you're gonna click on generate it, generate. And as you see here, guys, that's done a really good job with changing the word. The only thing that I notice that you will see is on the edges, you'll see that the, the outline right there is pretty sharp. But that's an easy fix using a soft brush on the mask and you just paint it out. Easily just press B on your keyboard by clicking on the mask and then you press B on the keyboard and then you just press the bracket keys just to lower the size of the brush and all you do is kind of paint like that and you will just take it out but i don't need to do that to make the video any longer so i'm going to move on to the next one so the next one over here now guys is this bicycle usually before when you're doing any kind of selection especially when it when it's this complex you're going to take for hours in order to do that and then now if you want to use a selection or the remove tool on the hardware level, instead of using uh, Photoshop's cloud feature, you're going to get not so much good of a selection. Let me just show you what I mean by that, guys. If you come over here, then you go to settings, then you go to general. If you go all the way down here where it says image processing, you're gonna see where it says select subject and remove background. You can either do device or cloud. When you have it on the cloud, normally you get a much better removal, but now they have updated the on-device feature where your selections and removal is so much better. Let me show you guys. All right, so we'll let, if we click on the, the cancel right here. All we need to do, guys, is literally just click on the remove background right here. Once we click on that, you'll see that it's already finished. And all I'm gonna do is just take off that and look at the, the details guys look at how clean this actually is and I, that's what i mean this has been such an amazing update guys so let's move on to the next one all right so we have this model here guys and <clears throat> there are three things i really want to do with this what i think is going to just blow your mind guys and the first thing i really want to do is i want to add a different outfit on her. I'm gonna make it into a fur, okay? Once I've done that, guys, what I want to do now is actually change the scenery. Once I change the scenery, the next thing I want to do, guys, is actually change the angle of the camera that you're looking at the model at, okay? So right now, the, the model, the camera is facing directly at her, okay? So now, what I want to do, I will share on the screen what the prompt is, that way you guys can actually see what it's like, and I will also share it in the description below for you guys, all right? So don't worry. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna press M on my keyboard, and I'm just going to highlight. Once I've highlighted, guys, you're gonna see that this comes up right here, all right? So now, once this is up here, we're gonna click on Generative Fill. Once we go on Generative Fill, you have to make sure you go back to Gemini 2.5 because this is a much better uh, for what we're gonna be doing here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, paste that in because I already had it uh, already. So like I said, I'll, I'll share it with you guys, so don't worry. So once we do that now, guys, is I'm gonna just go ahead and say generate. All right guys, as you can see here, it has changed 
and put a coat onto her and I think it looks phenomenal. Of course, it's a little bit big, but that's not the problem here. So what we need to do now, guys, is if you can see before, after, before, after. All right, so the next thing we can do now is we can now change the overall look of the scene in terms of the color and everything else, all right? But the same thing like I mentioned before, guys, is you're gonna press M on the keyboard and all you're going to do is just highlight the entire scene right here. And now you're gonna to go to Generative Fill. I'm gonna paste my prompt in and literally, it's literally just going to change the overall look and feel and mood of the scene. All right, here we go. And look at that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I think this looks phenomenal. Just a dramatic change and it adds the shadow with the hair and everything. It looks phenomenal. So now, all we're gonna do now is just adjust the angle of the camera. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make the camera looking more top down at the model. All right, so same thing again. We're just going to highlight the entire thing here. Then we'll go to generate to fill. I'm gonna put my prompt in. I'm just gonna click on generate. Wow. Take a look at that, guys. I think that is phenomenal that you can do this with AI. We started here and we ended here. That I think is phenomenal. But one thing you have to keep in mind guys is when you use the prompts, you're not going to always get back the same exact result. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so I previously did my uh, different scenes. And then if you look at this one, that's what I got before. This was another one. That was the look I got before as well. So, you know, you have to just keep in mind, guys, that you're not always going to get the same result. But all you need to do is to just make sure that you ask to not change the appearance. In other words, the facial features of the subject that you have in the shot. And once you do that, everything else can be adjusted. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think below in the comment section and whether or not this is something that you'll try for yourself and play with it. Because right now I'm just having fun playing with this, guys. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very, very, very interesting. Uh, just being a photographer, just seeing these things, um, the capability of what AI can do is, it's a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. But for me, I'm looking at it up more as a tool for something to actually make my work look a lot better. Save me time from going out to set up lights and stuff like that to do these kind of stuff. So I think this is just, fascinating what you know you can get in terms of results uh, using the nano banana, nano banana feature all right guys so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button guys if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more and you might be interested in this video over here i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.